Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to LibreOffice Tips and Tricks. Today with the spreadsheet software I would like to show you how machine learning is working, how the information feedback can help making better decisions for the computer. I will make a theoretical data set, random values from 0 to 100, rounded to two digits. So 100 times random values, rounded to two digits, copy down, copy, paste special, and then I replaced them with numbers. So instead of the equation or formula, I have numbers. I would like to classify these values. Let's say they are feedback from the customers, how much they like or dislike a product. I would like to classify them to higher and lower values. So I will have class 1 and class 2. Initially, the guess will be the minimum for class 1 and the maximum for class 2. I calculate from the values. And my expectation is that these values in class 1 and class 2 will show me the mean value, the average for the higher and the lower part of the numbers, the groups. So I need two distances, distance 1, distance 1 and distance 2 to be able to compare which the number belongs to. I will calculate the difference on the squared value. I always use this. Uh, even the absolute value can work. Uh, just we have to be sure positive and negative numbers are compared correctly. I personally prefer the squared value. And I will make two columns, value 1 and value 2. They will list the group members for class 1 and class 2. So if the distance for uh, class 1 is smaller than distance to class 2, the row value will belong to here. Otherwise, I will make a text notification that there is no new member. The same applies to the other with a small modification that the equal sign I also put here because uh, if we have equal distances, it is right in the middle between the two classes then I have to make the decision because the computer cannot decide which is closer. So I decide now that in such a case when the distances are equal that will belong to class number two. So if this happens, otherwise I again have the text notification. You can see here we have the member for value uh, for class one and no member for class two. So this is belonging to the lower numbers. Now comes the trick how the machine learning can work because this is pretty straightforward calculation. If I copy down each row, I can decide whether they are closer to this number or that number. I will apply a learning rate, let's say 10%, 0.1. So each row, I will recalculate the class means, the expected mean values, which I use for comparison, with the learning rate how it is working. So if I have a number, a new member for class one is number. I have a number here, a new member, then with learning rate multiplied by the new member plus one minus learning rate multiplied by the previous value, because then I have to recalculate. If no new member, nothing changed, just keep the value. Uh, you can see that because of the new value, uh, the class 1 mean value, the descriptive average, is recalculated. If I want to copy the equation down, I have to fix the learning rate. It is coming from the specific cell and I can copy down the same, exactly the same will happen with the class number 2. If I have is number uh, new value. Here, a new member for class number two, then recalculate learning rate times the new value plus one minus learning rate times the old value, the previous one, or I just keep it. You can see that the value didn't change because no numeric value appeared here. No number, no new member. 
again I have to apply uh, the dollar sign and uh, for some reason when I click on this it makes a trick for me okay now I fixed the learning rate and then I can check that it is working exactly as I want previews new member learning rate that's correct here previews new member learning rate that's correct so I copy down the distances and then the new values Wow now we can see the members which number belongs to which group and finally you can see that from these initial guesses the minimum and maximum finally we approach the average of the groups 19.6 uh, and 17.8.13 uh, also uh, threshold value where is the limit between the classes I can calculate from the mean values and you can see that this is changing by time as a new value appears it is always recalculated the means are recalculated using the learning rate so this is the feedback of the information how the computer can learn from decision now i will show how the threshold evolution is running over time I know this is threshold. I will move the chart a bit down, make a bit bigger and more beautiful. Just some formatting because uh, if we make a bit better formatting, it's more easier uh, to read the values from the chart. I use grid lines. No, 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 the same style. And I will also make some titles, the number of the iterations in, on the x-axis, which value we add to the classes. And then the y-axis, the threshold value. Threshold value, number of iterations, yes. So you can see here how the values are changing, the limiting values between the two classes. And uh, basically we can also compare uh, the class uh, means, how it is uh, compared to the uh, estimated and real observations. So class one and class two has estimated mean values. Here are the final results. This is what we reached. And actually the, oh, sorry, the average, uh, I was too fast. The average value for the lower group and the average value for the higher group will show us the real mean values for the classes and you can see that uh, they are very close to each other so here are the classes and if i make some nice decoration with color it is more easy to highlight information we can also check the limits where are the limits for the groups the maximum value of the lower groups you can see here and the minimum value of the higher group and actually the threshold is typically expected somewhere between this happened here the members we can also check how many members we have in each we can count the numbers for class one and count the members for class two you can see them here and again I just made a description of the classes so this is uh, the statistical table you can see about the classes how many members it has where are the limits what are the real values and what are the estimated values from the minimum and maximum we started 
and this learning seems to be very effective because we get very close to the real value of the groups. What will happen if I change this learning rate? If I change it, you can see that uh, the values can change, the estimated values for sure, because the feedback rate is different, and maybe the membership as well, so the list of values can also change. The evolution of the uh, threshold, you can also see, became slightly different. What will happen if I change to a different direction from 20% to 5%? Here, only the estimated values uh, changed. 0.1 back to the original you can see how the values are different actually we can optimize this learning rate because we can calculate the distance of classes similar to the uh, distance of uh, single values just the estimated minus the real on the squared plus for the second class as well estimated minus the real on the squared you can see here and as I modify the value of course the distance is also changing so I can ask the computer to figure out what could be the best solution I can ask the solver to do it for me the distance of classes I would like to change to minimum value the closer to zero as much as possible because it is squared value uh, the zero is the minimum and I would like to change the learning rate. In the options, you can choose any evolutionary algorithm. Uh, it is a non-linear model, so don't choose the linear uh, solver and solve. We will see how is it. And finally, we can conclude that for this data set, uh, around 19% learning rate is the most effective because then uh, the estimated and real class means are the closer to each other and you can see that the groups are more or less balanced and now I have uh, random numbers so it is expected to be close to each other and you can see also the limits of the groups and the threshold is somewhere between as it is expected yes so now you have seen in this small demonstration how machine learning is working and with the learning rate we make a feedback loop uh, we uh, make the decision uh, go back uh, uh, to the calculation of the new class means so this is how it is working i hope it helps thank you very much for your attention